as we point out in in our review, because of course, apart from pointing the numbers and the species that are declining and the ones that are increasing, some of them are increasing as a result of the, the declines. Uh, the, we also analyze the drivers as as indicated by the authors of each one of the studies, obviously, and also our own personal sub- observations. And we packed up uh, all those uh, drivers with other information that is available in the literature. Um, okay, uh, main, the main driver is basically the the loss of habitat. Um, Many habitats, many ecosystems that we are destroying, starting from the tropical forest, obviously in the tropical areas, to the um, draining of wetlands in many developed countries and developing countries, uh, to the expansion of urban areas and industries, which are taking over more and more land. So that loss of habitat, obviously, is the main driver, uh, as pointed out by all the authors. And... Together with that, um, uh, one of the major factors of this destruction of habitat is the agriculture. Agri- the reason why many uh, tropical forests are cut down is simply because of agriculture, and not just to to get some timber for you know exporting to developed countries. It's also for agriculture to get more land to grow soybeans or, or, or crops, like in Brazil, for example. Yeah, we know that. And in Southeast Asia, for example, the destruction of a tropical forest is just something rampant and just to plant crops, you know. So agriculture is the driver behind that. And together with agriculture goes the, the use of uh, uh, pesticides and fertilizers. And among um, the pesticides, obviously, the insecticides. And insecticides are chemicals designed to kill insects. So it just, I mean, no one can deny that pesticides, in particular insecticides, are having a huge impact. And it's one of the drivers for the declines of insects, okay? Uh, It's obvious. And then there are also other chemicals uh, which are toxic to insects, uh, industrial chemicals and um, uh, discharges from mines and industries that contaminate the the waterways. And so all the insects that live in... in, um, in rivers and ponds and lakes are affected by these chemicals. So that's, but they are not as much affected as by the pesticides and fertilizers. Because as I say, pesticides are particularly toxic to the, to insects, and they are having a huge effect. And I know that from personal experience because I've been working on this um, area for about 25 years, and I can see the impacts of insecticides on on on, on communities of insects at all levels. Uh, it's undeniable. And then there's uh, just a, a host of uh, small drivers, uh, but uh, in, in some cases can be important. And for example, introduced species, it could be uh, animal species like possums in New Zealand, which are eating up all the giant um, uh, beetles <laughs> because they are big, easy to spot, you know. So it's one of the, dri- the, the drivers of so the decline of this particular group of beetles. And Changes in livestock uh, management, for example, in Europe, have led to the decline of most of the dung beetles, which is incredible. Well, it's simply because uh, the dung of uh, the cattle and horses is not available anymore in the countryside. You know, that dung is either is um, collected and used for something else, for manure, or for uh, or just simply buried or discharged in different ways. And the dung beetles don't have access to it. So therefore, the dung beetles are disappearing. And it's the group of insects which is declining ra- most rapidly, dung beetles. Amazing. And there is also some, to a small extent, uh, some pathogens and parasites that affect some groups, like, for example, bees uh, are affected by parasites. But that is only a small factor. And finally, the climate change, obviously. And we don't know much about climate change because there are contradictory um, studies on that. Some of them have shown increase in the distribution of many species of insects due to uh, war- global warming. And that's very easy to understand because most insects react positively to um, warming environments. And the highest diversity of insects is found in the tropics because it's a warm and humid environment that is is, is uh, favorable for them. 
But at the same time, <laughs> as many species are expanding, particularly in North America and Europe, and uh, which is where this effect has been observed, uh, in tropical countries it seems to have a negative effect. And it appears to be uh, a combination not just of uh, increasing temperatures, but also declining uh, humidity. As I said, uh, insects need warm temperatures, but also humidity. If the, the humidity declines because it's a drier environment, many insects cannot reproduce, and therefore they will go extinction. So it seems that in tropical countries, uh, climate change is a negative effect. So as I say, this is two, it's a, two contradictory uh, or contrary effects, you know, uh, that are... <laughs> benefiting some insects, but at the same time, they're affecting others.